We Welcome are back. back to the MLG game on Ender's Game on Blu-ray tournament. Yep. And uh, right now we are in the deciding game of Major against Tendralisk. That we are. The final game. The yep. rubber match, some might say. Both games, Tendralisk has been taking extremely big risks. One time it paid off, one time it didn't. Uh, we'll see if he decides to go for a very aggressive style once again. Um, kind of bony. And see if Major is prepared to hold it. Because, I mean, th this these guys are friends as well. So I'm sure Major is familiar with Tendralisk's uh, CVT. So we'll see We'll see if he's ready for that. That's what I'm anticipating from Tendralisk. Perhaps uh, another very aggressive style. Spawning in the bottom right, we have Major. On no teams at the moment. That's no the blue team at the moment, yeah. And um, in the top left is the Teal Zerg. Frost, and I almost want to throw down everything that I just said out the window because this is cross map, cross cross positions on Frost. Uh -huh. If uh, Hendralis gets to play a macro game in CVT, um, you know, like aiming to get to the late game, this could be where he chooses to do it, and he's fully capable of doing so as well. So we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Colonel Hendralis. Colonel Hendralis with Teal Zerg. So, um, Hendralis is capable of playing a good macro game, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. That's good, because Major is definitely capable of playing a macro game. Yeah. Um, the last time we saw Major play on this map versus Zerg, didn't he do, like, some crazy greedy, like, early, like, third, third CC by, like, seven minutes, some crazy greedy? Do you remember that game? No. Um, I don't remember who it was against. I believe you, though. But um, anyway, Major really good at cutting corners and taking risks when you need to. Although yeah, it looks he's like not. he's not going to do it this game. And I think that's because uh, Hendrilis is, is a bit unpredictable. Yeah, absolutely. And he's completely capable of doing that 13, uh, 14, or 14, 14, or 13, to 13 to to uh, to perhaps punish an opponent or, or yep. that sort of play. I, I don't think Hendrilis would be the kind of player to... Um, you know, if he thought that Major was gonna CC on the high ground, on the high, on the low ground, maybe he wouldn't be uh, too hesitant to just go for an early pull. Yeah. Hendrill is definitely able to mix it up, and that makes him a very dangerous player. So Major taking the precautions here, not being very greedy, scouting at a reasonable time with the uh, SCV, and not just relying on the Reaper. Uh, he doesn't want that Reaper to leave his base and, and be caught completely off position if there is an early pull on the way. Definitely. So we'll have to wait and see what happens here. SCV, just kind of run around scouting. Same thing with the Overlords of Handrelisk. Nothing big going on here. Handrelisk still playing pretty safe. Gets that early gas. Probably going to make another six slings. Uh, yeah. Reaper. And this time, this time I'm not sure if he's going to make up to six slings before he sees the, the Reaper. I'm not even sure. Let's, let's check if he's saving Larva. Um, he's making four links. And this is a little bit this is a little bit strange just because you know Hendrilis doesn't have any scouting information here, so just making four links blind is could could be pretty detrimental to this him is something if Major where, was doing anything. Yeah, else. this is something where if Major did go for like fifteen or fourteen CC or whatever on the low ground, yeah. yeah, Major would have a really good lead. Yeah. Because Hendrilis is playing the exact same super safe versus the early Reaper yeah. game that he has yeah. in every other match, so Yeah, he has four links, he's and starting link speed, link speed he mind gas. That would be a, a really ideal situation for Major. Uh, fortunately for Hendralisk, that's not the case. Major is uh, gonna be able to pick up oh, one drone. Nice pick up. The Lings actually, I think, interfered with the drone making yeah. the uh, extractor there. I think so. If a unit is too close to your extractor, you will not be able to pick up an extractor there without the unit moving. So Hendralisk good job. almost picking up good that Reaper, Major but not so far. Fly. And he's playing a pretty standard game, as standard as it gets. It looks like he's uh, pretty comfortable with this. Oh. Major starting at third CC, kind of early-ish, but pretty standard major timing. He likes to yep. get that third CC really early. Yeah, I would say so. so. I would expect a, a Stargate, perhaps, or a Starport to follow this up. Mm -hmm. We'll see if there's a tech lab on the barracks or not, and there probably will be regardless. Yep. And again, to reiterate on what Kat said, both players playing pretty safe. Um, probably could have been greedier this game. Major's not playing greedier because he knows that Hendralisk could do some weird stuff. And Hendralisk isn't playing greedier. I'm not sure why. I, I honestly, um, I think that the six slings, or even the four slings and the early link speed, this was kind of overkill by Hendralisk. If Major would have opened up with a CC first, you know, build, 
he would have been in, in a, in a yeah. just he would have just been behind for no reason. Um, and even only one Reaper ever being made by Major. Um, I mean, you're going to have Queens out in time to deal with two Reapers, I think, especially due to the huge distance they have to travel. Maybe two Lings would be okay. But yeah, I mean, maybe. four Lings and Ling speed is, I feel like it's huge overkill. Henderless does get the third down earlier this game than he has been in the past, thankfully. Um, still kind of late by some Zerg standards, but... Yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's a much more reasonable time mm -hmm. to take that third, and I think the map has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Uh, Major is going to be applying some pressure with a couple of Hellions and Reapers, but probably reinforcing with uh, a, a couple more or up to four, maybe even more Hellions. We'll have to wait and see. There's two more on the way. Um, they're still being researched, so we're not going to see any Banshees. Um, not yet, anyway. Probably not at all this game. Yeah, it's a long, again, a long distance for Banshees to travel to. Yeah. And Major is probably going to try to establish his own third as soon as possible as well. There is an Overlord that's going to spot that third from Major, so... He... Hendrilsk is very aware of this. Major is still applying some pressure. He stopped with Hellion production now. Six is a pretty decent number here to apply pressure with. Um, it's not the deadliest number ever. I really hate it when Terrans just randomly make uh, four more Hellions and go for it. Yeah. It's, well, it's when, and when Kat says he hates it, he means like it's really effective. Yeah. And it's one of those things where you're like, man, like, Terrans could do this any game, you know? And it's like... Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, I guess I should have made one more Queen or yeah. saved a little bit more Transfuse. Good on Major here, only focusing the Queen with energy for a Transfuse, so none yeah. of the other Queens are able to Transfuse. Did this one have the energy? Nope. Yep. You might be wondering why are the Lynx attacking the rocks, why are they not chasing after the Hellions? Well, you don't really want to ever chase Hellions out of creep. So the Lynx are there kind of to threaten the Hellions and to, like, basically with the Queens, the Lynx will poke forward and tell the, tell the Hellions get out. And the Hellions will have to get out because the Lynx are so fast that if the Hellions don't get out, then they can get surrounded. Uh, so anytime the Hellions poke, the Lynx should move forward like this and then back. Or not back at all, and then potentially lose them all. Uh, that was a little bit of a mistake. It's really tempting here to chase with the links because your links will catch up to the Hellions and do a little bit of damage. But uh, I mean, yeah, if, if you, you don't get a surround, it's just it's just so so gambly. Exactly. It's, you're relying on the Terrence micro more than your own, I think. Mm -hmm. So he loses that bunch of links, and again, it's not a huge deal in terms of resources lost, but it means that those are drones that you could have made instead, and yeah. you have to remake in links because the the threat of the Hellions is still there. Mm -hmm. Um, so we see a lot of links being remade by Hendrilisk, and this is almost uh, more than he needs. So he might try to go for a very aggressive, uh, for a very aggressive pressure once again here. I don't really know why he's so keen on killing these rocks. It doesn't help that much, I don't think. Unless like the Terran is setting up right out there, and you've already lost your third. Yeah, I mean it helps a little bit. If there's nothing else bit. to do, then barely. I mean, not even. I don't think it was. Uh, but I mean, whatever. I never mind. You're right. There's nothing else to do, I guess. So. Yep. Um, I guess for some reason I thought he made all those links to get the rocks down. Like, oh, no, so no, no way. Yeah. Um, he does have quite a healthy number of links, though. Um, an okay yeah. number of a good number of drones, too, for three bases. So I need to get that fourth work. Yeah, he doesn't have very much gas, either. I'm not sure. I, it, it really seems like he's going for something like what he went for in the first game, where he's yeah, going to... Some 1-1 one, one big bane link timing. Maybe yeah, all like of these link links. banes. And, uh, yeah, 17 bane links being morphed in right now. Yep. So that's a lot. I think that Hendrilisk is looking to hit a timing to uh, catch Major with his pants down again. Wow, great position by the Marine yeah. of Major. That was actually huge. Yep, Major now... is not going to get caught, caught with any supply depots down here. Mm -hmm. um, his army is going to be in perfect position. He raises the depots in advance, has the bunker loaded up. Uh, and that's huge. That that's that's Just that one Marine prevented a lot of damage, yep. a lot of potential damage coming in. Major moving up into Hendrilisk's fourth as... Oh. I know it's defensive banelings here while trying to simultaneously apply pressure to the third. Yep, doesn't Hellions manage to job, kill yeah. too much. I think he gets rid of those Hellions, but... Yeah, and again, Hendralisk, um, as much as these are cheap units, he doesn't really have all that much gas. He won't... I don't think he will be making a lot of Muta anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just relying on the ground army to destroy the ground army and have enough to ram through, I think. Very similar to what we saw him try in the first game. Mm -hmm. um, it can work. It's gonna be harder on this map though due to the yeah. longer reinforced distance. It's a very momentum based army. You, you like if you don't have a lot of muta like like we mentioned before then it's kind of all inish. Yeah it's pretty all inish. Major with a lot of workers. Seventy two workers for Major right now. Eighty one for Hendralisk. Yeah great economy for, for Hendralisk on four base very quickly as well. 
and taking the gases at the fourth as well. So I think we might actually not see that. Um, I maybe either Hive or Muta. Like that. Yeah. Or maybe uh, I think I think Muta maybe. Well, he I don't. I think it's just gonna be a lot of banning. I don't think because he, he has like no Muta. He's making five more, but he's only got four. Like this is a really low number Muta have at this point in the game. Yeah, but with all the gases, I can't imagine that he. I, I mean, he he, he will like have extra gas. If he, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. It's possible. Um, especially because of how low he is on gas now. But I guess we'll see. Yeah. If he does decide for me to go for Muta, though, Major is uh, pretty okay-ish prepared against it. He's getting a Thor and a couple of extra Widow Mines. That kind of thing helps a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the Widow Mines not burrowed here. He should pro okay. He's paying attention to those. So just burrowing one here and there. The Thor and Widow Mine combination, um, especially with Medivax present, is really crucial to the Terran because Widow Mines you want to focus fire, and Thors you cannot focus fire. Um, you don't ever want to magic box Widow Mines, but you have to magic box Thors. Um, so when those two units come together, you, the way you fight them is very different, so it makes it really hard to engage that with Mutas, unless you have a ton of Muta that you can just magic box over everything. Um, so the Widow Mines and the Thors have to work together. If you only have one, it's not good. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, I don't think it's not good if you only have one, but in combination, I think they're definitely stronger yeah, yeah. for the reason. Well, I mean, like, like you saw, like what happened to Nathanius. And, and you just had, okay, like, we're four. gonna see, we're gonna see what Nathanius was trying to do earlier against Major, but we're gonna see, see it. Uh, um, well done. <laughs> uh, Major, Major's uh, has the widow minds to fall oh, back on. Not paying attention, not. however. He needs to just hop in those medivacs. Oh, he didn't. He was able to get out. No surround yeah. by the links. Yeah, notice how he runs back to the medevac to the widow mines. Of course, it's not gonna matter. Hendrilus has way too much, but the supplies are still pretty even. Major actually, uh, not with this characteristic great macro. Major right just here. needs to get in the medevac. Oh, those widow mines need to be huge. Oh man, Major with really poor army control. Yeah. Um, Major's strength has always been his macro, but I mean that was like uncharacteristically. Bad. Although he does have a drop going on in the main. Ah, oh, the Marines are a move command. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, Major falling apart here a little bit. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. The 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 drop in the main is doing a lot of damage, but I mean, I, I think Major. I don't know if he's got enough to deal with this army. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he pushes it back, then he he will be able to stabilize, especially after taking that main. That was the lair as yeah, well. Yeah, but so, wow. That was a lot of damage by Hendrilus. Perhaps a mistake of for, for Major. Again, uh, like, I don't think he I had think his entire is, army not even is, close there. Yeah, this game is over, I think. You think so? Yeah, definitely. 100%. I don't know what won't. Oh, yeah, 100%. So. Major's lost his base. He's on two bases at 17 minutes with that natural being almost completely mined out. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough spot to be in, that's for sure. And Hendrilus lost his main, but, I mean, he's got three other fully mining bases. And he still has his Spire and all of his tech, which was not at his main. Um, he's maybe a spawning pool, I guess, but uh, Major is in, a, is in a very, very, very rough spot. Yeah. That, Major that, is getting plus three attack now. Um, it was just funny that you just said that, but uh, Major's army control was so bad. I, I don't understand what happened there. Major doesn't, isn't normally one to choke at tournaments, is he? Uh, no, not at all. No, not again, at all. it doesn't seem like... Th I, th I think it was just a ripple effect of his, uh, of, his, uh, of his first big chunk of his army just getting wrecked. Maybe, yeah. No, he needs perfect splits. He doesn't even, have much else to do, so he yeah. should. No, not the greatest splits ever. I mean, and even with perfect splits, so many banelings here. Yeah, that's a lot of banelings. No medevacs left either. Widow mine needs to burrow. That needs to be a huge hit on the banelings, but nope. Just gets one or two. Oh, well, banelings is not on the spidey, but it certainly helps. But uh, Hendrilus knows what he needs to do. He needs to continue to apply the pressure. Anything. Hendrilus can do anything at this point. Oh, pretty much. Million scans is cut down, and Major GG's out. Yeah, so that Hendrilus, Hendrilus will, will advance first. Two one? Two to one against Major, against and he Major. will be advancing first out of the group. That he will be. Now we're gonna have the losers match next between Hitman and Nathanius. Nathanius. What and a then match. Hitman versus or I'm sorry. And then the winner of that versus Major. <laughs> Major. Um Wow. That was wow. that was really sad. So unless Hitman advances, I won twenty dollars. There you go. Okay. But if they both advance, then it cancels that. Yeah, I'm really surprised that um, I didn't expect to see Major fall apart that hard in that game. It was really bad. The whole the whole like, last three minutes of that game was really uncharacteristic of Major. Uh, um, considering that so, Major I mean, finished second in the last tournament that we ran, and he had excellent 
he, he played really well the entire time. I mean, time. he played really well, except this for game? that one engagement. No, just in general, like, like uh, yeah, sure, this game in general. Yeah. I think he, he, he was playing really well up until, up until that Until that one engagement, everything yeah. it was completely it, fell it, apart. I think it was just a matter of not having enough. Like, because cause he was even, if not ahead in supply, and then he just had a, a, a big chunk a of his bit. army standing there yeah. by itself. But normally that's like that's what major strength is, is having enough, more yeah. than enough. I, th I think that Hendralus surprised him a little bit too, because Hendralus, if I'm not mistaken, moved off of creep and attacked into that army. Sure. Um, so I don't think Major was even ready to engage. He was like waiting for the rest to start moving on creep, start clearing some creep. Yeah, unfortunate for Major, but he does. he's not out completely yet. He does drop to the final smash of the group. So we're going to take a quick three-minute break, and we'll be back next with Nathanius versus Hitman. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere.